Hello everyone, this is Marva Riley again and I want to touch base with you real quickly uh, and talk to you a little bit about your health. It is the end of March and it's usually about this time when so many people who might have started on a health journey January 1st or perhaps January 2nd and by the end of March they're oftentimes feeling a little bit tired a little bit overwhelmed and thinking of quitting well I am here to encourage you to hold on not quit stay the course the thing is that the reason why health is called a journey is because that's exactly what it is. It's a journey. It's a path. It's a lifestyle that you have adopted for the rest of your life. So that's one reason why I usually encourage um, my followers, my readers, the readers of my book, Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health, uh, the members of my Facebook Health and Wellness Support Group, um, my friends and family, anyone that I can speak to, I let them know and I'm letting you know that it is a health journey and that it's best not to focus much on weight loss but to focus on the healthy lifestyle and healthy living. Because once you uh, practice healthy lifestyle and healthy living, once you change the way you eat by cutting out junk and uh, making an attempt to eat more vegetables and fruits and healthy whole foods, once you incorporate some moderate exercise like walking for at least half an hour, three to four days a week. Once you focus on getting a little bit more sleep and decreasing your stress level, and now that it's spring to get some sunlight and some fresh air and spend some time in, in, in meditation and prayer by journaling at night, for example, and just spending some quiet time by yourself. And once you start drinking adequate amount of water, is just a matter of time before you will experience the weight loss that you desire. You will not only uh, lose the weight, but you'll keep it off because now you're living that healthy lifestyle every day. Also, you will mess up sometimes. I ate pizza today, which I very rarely eat. But my hubby felt like having pizza and he bought himself a large pizza and there were a couple of slices left and I really enjoyed it with a bowl of vegetable soup. So yes, there are times when you're going to eat something that you really like or is pleasurable. So long as it's not every day, usually it's not something that's going to really do harm to your health journey. So I encourage you, stay the course. Stick with it. If you mess up or fall back, press that reset button and start again. And I encourage you not to be like so many others who filled up the gym at the beginning of the year and by the end of March, April, perhaps May, They've dwindled down to one day or maybe nothing. And eventually the gym will be filled with the same people that are avid gym people. I encourage you to be the exception. Be the exception. So stay the course. Remember, your health is your only wealth. Your health is your greatest wealth. Health is wealth. Food is medicine, exercise is medicine, meditation is medicine, sunlight is medicine, adequate water is medicine, decreased stress is medicine, and good sleep is medicine. So do the best you can to take the best care of yourself 
Self-care is self-love. See what I mean? Self-care is self-love. It's your body. It's your mind. It's your spirit. Be sure to take the best care of it. I encourage you. I have had so many great reviews about my book. Uh, my book, Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health, written by me, Marva Riley. This is a book that was written for you to help you to succeed on your health journey and to succeed with your health goals. It's a very simple, short book that can be read in less than two hours. It's simple, it's easy to read, but it's packed with great tips and suggestions and advice to help you to get healthy and to stay healthy, to help you to get fit and to stay fit, drug free. Many, many health issues that we have are related to our lifestyle. The way we eat and what we eat lead to weight gain. Weight gain lead to heart issues, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, uh, trouble sleeping, depression, gastric reflux, irritable bowel syndrome, depression. So many health issues are related to poor lifestyle. And my book, will help you to get on track with eating healthy and adopting other healthy habits to help you to succeed in regaining your health and getting off drugs as uh, soon as possible. Because as I said, most, many, many health issues are related to poor lifestyle that lead to overweight that lead to all kinds of health issues. And my book is a great tool to help you to get a handle of your health and to finally take charge of your health and to reverse those health issues. If you're already healthy, it's a great book to help you to continue to be healthy, to continue and to grow older, healthy and strong as I am. You know, in a month or so, May, I will be 59 years old and I have no health issues. It's March. Normally I have, in the past, I've had major allergy issues in spring. But you know what? No headaches, no sniffles, no congestion, no not feeling well. Just, I just feel great because of the lifestyle that I live and the, and, and the natural remedies that are included in this book, by the way, that will help you with your allergy issues and your uh, any other issues that you might have. I'll share with you how I was able to overcome heart disease where the doctor told me that I would need a heart transplant to live. Depression, gastric reflux, bloating, menopause issues, can't sleep, headaches every day. Yeah, I was very sick and I was able to heal myself using holistic lifestyle. And now I am free of drugs, completely free of drugs and feeling very clear-minded and healthy in my body, my mind, and my spirit. And so can you. So go ahead and pick up a copy of my book. You will be so glad you did. I have had so many testimonials on Facebook, on Instagram, on, on YouTube, on uh, Amazon, of people who have been helped and encouraged because they felt hopeless about 
losing the weight, about reversing the health issues, about stabilizing their blood pressure. Men and women whose blood pressure is stabilized. Men in their 70s with blood pressure of 114 over 60 something since they started implementing the simple, simple but effective lifestyle changes that has brought radical results in their health. So do yourself a, a favor and pick up a copy of my book, Eat, Sleep, Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health. By me, Marva Riley, Registered Nurse. You will be so glad you did. It's available on Amazon and also on my website, rnmarvariley.com. And on my website, I also have so many tips and suggestions and strategies that you can use to help you to succeed on your health journey. I also have plenty of recipes on my website. And by the way, I am working on a plant-based recipe book and I'm expecting to have it published before the end of this year. So stay tuned for that. Take care, stay the course, never give up because your health is your greatest wealth. Your health is your only wealth and your health is your responsibility. You've got to take care of it. God bless you.